lifting form is just as important, if not more important than any other part of your workout routine. Before we talk about each exercise in detail, I want to make sure you know a few general but vital aspects of correct lifting form. So here are the five most important ones in no particular order. Number one is briefing. The worst mistake you can make here is holding your brief. Not only will this rise your blood pressure, it can cause dizziness and in severe cases you could even faint. Unfortunately, there are always some people at the gym who despite the risk hold their brief for far too long and sometimes turns red in the process. So how do you do it correctly? Old bodybuilding advice is to inhale while lowering and exhale while lifting. While there is no scientific evidence that this strategy leads to better results, I still believe it's a good rule of thumb for helping you find a nice rhythm for your breathing. But, but for some reason you don't like doing it this way, just make sure to breathe naturally during your repetitions and avoid things like sudden changes in your breathing rhythm or even hyperventilations. Another important aspect is to always use controlled movements while lifting the weight. Many beginners tend to jerk or bounce a dumbbell or barbell because it helps them lifting heavier weight. But doing this is not only more dangerous, it is also less effective. When you jerk the weight and use momentum to lift it, you don't activate the specific muscle group in the exercise is designed for. So there is really nothing to gain from doing it that way. Also, don't worry about time under tension. The term refers to how long a muscle is under strain during a set. And some people will tell you to do super slow reps for better muscle engagement. Now, even though a few studies suggest this to be true, the problem is that it comes at a huge trade-off. If you do an exercise a lot more slowly than normal, you will have to use a lot less weight to still complete your set. This goes against the concept of progressive overload, which is the primary driver of muscle growth. As a beginner, you should focus on getting stronger in the main lifts and not worry about rep speed. Next is good posture. No matter the exercise, you always want to keep your core stabilized. For example, this means tightening your abs and bank when doing squats or standing up straight and not hunched when performing the military press. Please make sure that your head always forms a straight line with your spin. I know we all like look at ourselves in the mirror when doing that list, but when bringing your head up, you create a lot of unwanted tension in your neck. Another thing is to always place your feet firmly on the floor so you have a stable foot position. This is especially important when doing heavy squats and will definitely help you avoid injuries. Number four in the list is using a full range of motion. Only then will you achieve complete muscle activation. Doing just a part of the complete range of motion will leave you prone to injuries in the portion that is never fully trained. And last, be consistent. Perfecting form takes time and everybody makes mistakes. Many beginners are afraid of using less weight in the beginning because they think it makes them look weak. Don't worry about that. I was in the same position and trust me, if you follow the advice on this program, strength will come fast. If you prioritize form over weight, in the beginning it will take only a few workouts to learn the proper movements. As you get more experienced, you will learn to do them subconsciously and won't even have to think about it anymore. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit the subscribe button before you go. If you have any questions, comment below, give me a like and just follow me to don't miss one of my videos on YouTube, Instagram and Facebook. To your success, your health and wealth mentor.